I think the performance was uh, was good, uh, particularly in the in the first half when we controlled the game uh, in uh, every aspect, and we had uh, some chances to score. We were not so nasty in the way to score. And we, when you have a chance like this, uh, you have to kill the game. The game was uh, under control. In the second half, uh, we struggled a bit uh, from the start, and uh, but after 10 minutes, we adapt uh, the situation and we control the game. We had another chance with Sonny that take the bar. After that, uh, I think they had some intensity in the game, winning some uh, offensive duels, and that create uh, a situation that we struggle a bit, and the game change. But they find a way to score, uh, and we didn't. This is the history of the game. They seemed to get a lot of pressure in the second half as well. Obviously, made a lot of changes. Was that a temptation for you to try and match them and the substitutions you made? No, but the, the team uh, uh, needed only uh, five minutes to adapt. We, we, are, we were playing well, and the pace, uh, we controlled the game. So the, 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 there wasn't reason to change. After we changed, uh, because uh, the, there was a reason to change, and the energy, we needed more energy, and maybe also to interrupt uh, their, their pace in the game. But uh, only one detail changed uh, the story of the game. Three, three weeks ago, when we were at Leicester, um, you, you questioned the players' mentality. Is that still an issue for you? Because again, it seems the whole, if you look at the week as a block, one step forward and two steps back, is that fair? Today, we show a great mentality because we came uh, here in a in a situation against a team uh, that uh, is similar to Leicester and uh, a great team, a, a good squad. But we control the game for 60 minutes and we play different if you compare the game in Leicester to the, uh, to the game uh, today. Uh, I think the mentality today was, uh, was good. It's a, it's a lesson we have to learn. Because when you start a game and you control the game, you have to kill the game. This is a lesson we have to to, to learn today. And one small positive, Pedro Porro seems to be adapting and learning to, to what you wanted him. Yeah, yeah Pedro Porro played a good game, like uh, all the team. Uh, but we know that Pedro Porro is this type of player. We need uh, to help him to adapt himself uh, on this, uh, in a new league, but today was uh, was important for us. Uh, the only thing is uh, be ready, nasty and aggressive in the way you have to, to keep the game. How do you make players more aggressive and nasty in that way? No, no, uh, they have to find this uh, solution uh, during every game, but today was not uh, was not uh, the lucky day that you shot uh, on target the first and you score. And we needed uh, uh, maybe more chances, but uh, when you have five, you need to score one. Okay. George, last one, please. Christian Antonio will be back tomorrow. How much of a lift will he give the group after this last Yeah, week? Antonio will be a, a massive boost for us from tomorrow until the end of the season. And it's important that Antonio is back. Uh, we want to have him back uh, with a, a different result. But I think the team uh, showed to Antonio that the team is, uh, is alive. Uh, they want to, to win. Uh, they want to control the game. Uh, they want to dominate the game. And this is uh, uh, important, I think. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.